hello welcome back to my channel i'm courtney if you're new here i've got another grocery haul for you our weekly groceries for our family of five we did walmart grocery pickup and then i'm also going to be running to Publix tomorrow to get a few things that i checked the prices on and they were on sale there this week that we had on our list already so it was cheaper to get it at Publix. so i'm waiting to do that tomorrow because sunday's just a little bit busy because we have our sunday routine where we you know we go get some lunch then we came home owen's napping we're resting the kids are in there playing right now so if you hear anything that's them um and then we went and got the groceries and then we take grant to youth tonight and so it's a busy sunday um so i just decided to do groceries tomorrow i'll also be sharing the meal plan as usual at the end of the video it's a kind of a yummy one this week and i'm planning to film some of that hopefully don't know when you'll see it because i'm not the quickest on those. Um, I'm consistent on grocery hauls, but not exactly the what's for dinner videos. Then also in this video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, out of a few things, like staple ingredients and then snacky stuff. So I'm gonna do like a little bit of a restock and take you along while I restock our pantry in a little place in our fridge with some of the snacks and stuff. Just thought it'd be fun to include because I like watching those. So thought I would include it in this one as well. Our groceries this week, they had some substitutions and it made the price you know go wonky so i'm not exactly sure how much we spent i know we've got several things well not several just a few things that weren't in our grocery budget it's household items so i'll just put the breakdown as usual on the screen and then once Publix, i'll be able to put that on the screen here too for what we spent at Publix, and you'll be seeing it right now how much we spent <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into the video we'll go ahead and do the grocery haul then we'll share the meal plan then we'll do the stocking of our goodies and some supplies. I'll get to that and explain that a little bit more after. We ended up running out of several things this week. We really needed to get groceries. Um, so the table's full and I think the price this week probably reflected that. I think we might've went over this week. Not by much, but by some. So I'll just start over here. We got some Lucky Charms, salami for those snacks that I like to do with the peppers and the cream cheese. Then we needed some ham for the boys to have for lunches sometimes grant likes to take a ham sandwich got some garlic and avocado and lime and i'm actually going to try something out this might be a little too ripe though i don't know i'll have to make it like soon today or tomorrow um it's like some kind of dip that i saw on youtube and you do the avocado a little bit of lime a clove of garlic it's like some green onions parsley and you blend all that up with some spices and then i think you like dip it with I like I would use a bell pepper to dip it with and it sounds really good so I'm gonna try that oh and cottage cheese so it is a little odd like the mixture of ingredients but it'd be like high protein and it's all things that I like already like the flavors so I think I'm gonna like it we'll see if it's good I'll leave the video in the description box I guess for you guys to try it out too then we got some um, dip some French onion dip I was just feeling some French onion dip it sounded good it got suggested to me on the app and I got suckered in. Um, peanut butter crackers, this was a substitution because I got the Lance brand. I just like those because they seem a little bit saltier. These aren't going to be, but they'll still be fine for a snack. Got a box of juices. I don't know. They're the little four ounce ones, so they're not like too much. It's got three different flavors in it. Punch, apple juice, and Ernie's berry. <laughs> Whatever that would be. Back here we got 18 eggs, the green onions for that dip, as well as the cottage cheese, which I like cottage cheese anyway with some cashews and Cheez-Its, which I'm out of. So if I do end up, I mean, I, there'll be some extra, obviously. So next week you'll probably see cashews and Cheez-Its in the video or something like that. Um, these strawberries, I'm going to have to get some money back. There's, they're nasty on the bottom. <laughs> A couple of them's rotten. A couple of the things that we were out of. Um, or running low on was flour so I got some flour and sugar we were about out of too and then for one of my recipes we needed some ingredients I got sliced pepperoncinis the Italian style we got creamy four cheese rasseroni the kids love that and some barbecue sauce we needed some diapers I did buy a bigger box of those and they didn't have it and they substituted it for two so the bigger box that I get has 90 something diapers in it for 39 which is crazy but then they substituted it for two 50 count boxes so it would be like and it was going to be $40. No. It was going to be $50. 49 some and some change. And so that's like 10 extra diapers for 10 extra dollars. And I just did, couldn't do it. So I just went down to one box instead of the two. We, I usually get the wipes on Amazon. Like they come to us regularly. And I think I skipped a month somehow. Like, So ended up getting three, a three pack of that to hold us over until we get it. 
Um, we got some more waffles, chocolate chip waffles, and then these baked chips. I really like the white cheddar pop. Well, I like three out of the five. Anyway, <laughs> um, not that it's about me, but I do have it with a, like a sandwich or something every once in a while for lunch. Um, then we got these Sunbelt Bakery chocolate chip granola bars. You know, I don't know if you've been here for a while or not, but I used to get the Quaker, I think it's Quaker, granola bars a lot and the dips and they've just not had them for so long and I realized because I, I googled it because I've been wanting them the dipped ones are so good but I guess there was a recall on them at some point so I've been missing out on those because of the recall so I just decided to get some Sunbelt ones because I love them and I could make some of my own probably but I ain't got time for that right now I do want to get into more of that like home making my own stuff but it's just not we're almost there <laughs> but we're not there right now I don't think it's a little crazy right now then we got some more apple sauces oh he loves the apple sauce but I did get a different kind I don't know what in the world gimme five is that's one of the flavors in there and then apple peach and apple apple got a loaf of bread some hamburger buns two different kinds of tortillas we got this kind and then I like that with um, some cream cheese in it for a lunch and actually Owen likes the snack on that too he thinks it's good and Porter does sometimes too then we got some ready cooked bacon I haven't done my little BLTs in a while for lunches and I'm just now realizing that I forgot tomatoes so I guess I'll get that at Publix tomorrow <laughs> um, but just to have a really quick easy lunch to throw together I like to get the microwave bacon then we got some of the thin sliced chicken breast like that three of these yo play yogurts we got mixed berry blueberry and strawberry we needed some toothpaste that's not actual groceries but we did need it the chips for the french onion dip we needed to restock our cheese drawer just a little bit we do have parmesan cheese but we needed the rest of them probably should have got a bigger box or a bigger bag of these too i usually get 16 ounce but i just i don't know why i didn't <laughs> But I got sharp cheddar, fiesta blend, and mozzarella. Got red peppers. Um, one of them will be for that dip. And then the other one will be for a recipe. And I got this bell pepper too. But this one, I don't know. Like, at first I thought it was rotten. But I think it's just the color of it, hopefully. Hopefully it's not going to be gross on the inside. <laughs> got a thing of a bunch of parsley. I'm going to make some slaw this week. So I got a head of um, cabbage some cheese dip love this stuff got them each one of these lunchables the ham and cheese kind we needed some butter this was a substitution i ordered a four pack they substituted it for two two sticks which i hate because it turns out to be more expensive that way got some chive and onion cream cheese for different things shredded lettuce for the blts just to keep it simple and easy i don't know if i said milk but we got that back there we've got the cups of rice roni that the kids love and then also these little sweet peppers. This is a substitution too. They're out of the size that I normally get. I didn't know the difference. So I just, I went with it. Hawaiian rolls here for another recipe. They are playing in there very loudly. <laughs> I'm sure it's coming up on the camera. Got some goldfish. Um, the individual sized ones. And then we got a case of waters. And I think that's everything. I'm not really sure. I don't know if I said the pouches. But we got four baby pouches there too. Um, I think that's all the groceries from Walmart though and then I'll go ahead and show you Publix and then we'll switch over to the meal plan. So Travis is going to do the Publix one for you guys because I'm not feeling the best two days later. This is a pork butt shoulder. <laughs> We're going to eat that. Oh, <laughs> this is a jar of mayonnaise. It was on sale. <laughs> Nutella. This was 75% of the budget. No, it wasn't. They it, were on sale. It was on sale. This is peanut butter. Creamy. Also on sale. It was on sale. Loaf of bread, not on sale. This is fruit. <laughs> Raspberries. That one's on sale. Put some pep in your voice, babe. Oh, really? <laughs> These are strawberries. <laughs> These were on sale. I do have to say, you don't usually have, I mean, I don't usually have an audience, and you do. It's all of us. pure sweet. It won't focus. <laughs> How do you focus it? Tash it. Oh. Oh, pixie sweet. <laughs> <laughs> pixie sweet. Yogurt. 
It was on sale. <laughs> These are tomatoes. Do you do it through the bag? These are tomatoes. This is ridiculous. Okay. And a lasagna. And it was wrong. I'll have to return it. I was supposed to get Michelangelo's and I got the expensive party size. Uh, this was sixteen dollars. Not good. Another one was gonna be ten, I think. And it's fine if you want to keep the party size. One. We'll just do that. Some company offers. Yeah, sounds good. So here it is, on sale. This was on sale. Hopefully, I'm worried about the love for bread. Thanks, babe. Uh -huh. yep. I hope it was focused for part of it. Glasses are falling down. <laughs> okay, for the meal plan, we've got. Let's see, chicken fajita quesadillas with rice. And I'm so excited about that one. I love that one. That is one of mine and Travis's favorite. That's what we get. Well, I always get it when we go at, to Mexican restaurants. And then Travis does sometimes too because it's just delicious. Then last week we didn't end up making the pork loin with roasted potatoes and mac and cheese. And I think we're actually going to do that tonight. Um, but that one was transferred over to this week. Then I've got a couple of crock pot um, recipes that I'm gonna do. And I'll probably hopefully film them and have a crock pot video out. But we're gonna do crock pot like a hamburger potato kind of meal that I'm gonna try to, I don't know, wing. It just, I had this idea in my head and I got some inspiration from one thing and I'm, it's like, that doesn't sound exactly good. So I'm gonna like, and then it just, I don't know, I just got inspired and I've got an idea that I'm gonna make for that one. Then we're gonna do Mississippi chicken sliders with green beans and deviled eggs. And then I'm gonna try to do some pork barbecue sandwiches because all of us love those, even the kids really like it. And then that's when I'll do my coleslaw and then we'll do some baked beans with that and maybe some chips, I don't know. And then fend for yourself as usual and take out. So pretty yummy <laughs> meal plan if I do say so myself. I'm excited for some of those. I know Travis is excited that we're getting back into the like new meal inspiration again where I video them because we love trying out new meals and we're finally getting back into a rhythm of it being easier and more manageable to do so I'm pretty excited and hopefully you guys are too because that means more um you know what's for dinner videos and that sort of thing. I think we got most everything stocked up now. The chips are easy, just stick them in this bucket and we've got the open bags of chips right here. Then we've got their goldfish and they already have these little cookies in there. Then I've got my granola bars and some peanut butter crackers. I did like go through um, about a week or two weeks ago, I don't remember, and kind of like went through all of the pantry and got rid of expired stuff and just kind of reorganized it. This down here has gotten a little unorganized already again. But for the most part it is. I got these this cool little organizer for all my Ziplocs and things recently at Marshall's and I was excited about that. Oh, he likes to mess with it though, so a little less exciting now. And then for our saran wrap and different things right there. But this so far is looking pretty good there. And I love this little turntable in here. So here's what I'm like really excited to start trying to use. Um, Travis actually got these for me for Christmas. I've been looking at some of these for a while now and he got me this 10 piece set of OXO, I guess is, I don't know how you say it, OXO, OXO. Um, these little, you know, airtight containers and I'm probably gonna do some pasta. I do still want to get some for cereal because we pretty much use the same kind of cereals most of the time. I'm gonna use one for flour and sugar and we were pretty much almost out of both. So now's the time for me to finally open these and get them prepared to start using. And we're gonna do that, so pretty excited.
Now for the flower. Porter's going to do this one. <laughs> How many flowers? Uh, the whole thing. We're going to stick the whole thing in there. You got it? All of the flowers? Yep, go for it. Are you all of the flowers yes. that's in here? Pull the whole bag in there. <laughs> Do one. Got it all? We're gonna have to get some more flour, but for now, that'll work. Grant's doing the minute wrap. There you go. I'll put the lid on it. Push it down. Here's the lineup. <laughs> We've got the pasta that we use most often. We've got flour, probably we'll fill more of that up later, as well as the chocolate chips. Not gonna say that too loud, cause that one's over there. And then we've got brown sugar in here that has hardened a little bit, but I put the brown sugar softener little circle thing in there. We've got some rice and sugar. And then we'll probably do a couple more. I do want to get a couple of these for cereal, like I said, and then maybe powdered sugar and a couple other pastas, we'll see.